welcome to my channel, KC, that's me, Terry Chug, the Sludge Storyteller, here to talk about the wonderful world of storytelling and to open up discussion about how we can tell the best stories we possibly can. Yes, this is a change of venue in the den where I, I'm normally recording. Something's gone wrong with the lighting there, so until I figure that out, uh, this might be how we have to do it. Anyway, I... I want to mention where there's still progress going on with Sledge Number Two. I've had recent uh, communication with uh, the artist John, and he's doing a wonderful job. Now, last week we covered the su uh, superheroes of the Iron Age, as it is one of several names of this current comic age that I'm covering in these uh, current videos. And so today we, uh, I continue with. Superheroes is part of the, the most frequently used name for this age. It's the modern age. So context I want to put to that is the outlook on superheroes in relation to today's modern thinking and where technology factors in. So first, genre expansion. So each age that, age that we've covered in, the, uh, vid in these previous videos has been defined by various genres. Uh, golden age, you've got the super, of course, superheroes, uh, cop drama, crime, horror, and humor. Then bring in the Silver Age. Uh, two has superheroes, uh, cute animal hu humor, westerns, uh, TV show ad adaptations, romance, adventures with uh, famous comedians. Bronze Age, still got superheroes, uh, romance, and cute animal humor. Both of those were still around, but they were kind of phasing out. And horror will also make a comeback and that brings us to this the modern age and so in the past couple eight decades it's become anything goes if there's a genre in any other medium there's someone to make a comic about it and yes I've taken time to uh, Google documentary comics there's people who are actually making documentary comics there are people who are bringing romance to comics and uh, crime comics have gotten huge in the last few decades, most notably uh, 100 Bullets. But uh, there's been an increase in representation of all demographics, all the different ethnicities, uh, backgrounds, religions, and orientations. And I say all of this while making a video about superheroes throughout the ages because more than ever before, they're getting mixed with all those genres. Uh, that it almost feels like superheroes are the subgenre to uh, whether it be Superman is, is sci-fi, if uh, Thor is fantasy. So we're seeing more and more of the, the blending there. But it uh, can be confusing to stop and realize that comics register very low among other forms of entertainment nowadays. Uh, so that's where technology comes into play. So. The elephant and the room factor in terms of publishing, which uh, most other factors are rooted in, is the internet. So every publisher, of course, has a website, and with that website, uh, which each website comes a section for their publishing criteria. Some simple, some carry a very long process, and a, if you have the door completely slammed shut uh, on uh, bringing in new talent, they just have all that they can handle. In the last decade or so, there's been an, an explosion. So for decades, Marvel and DC were at the forefront of comic book publishing, but uh, 1986 saw the first noteworthy uh, competitor in Dark Horse Comics, and uh, 1992 we saw Image Comics come in. Uh, you know, they, so between these two, the, the the doors got blown open. So both uh, publishers they brought in new creators and established. Uh, uh, had established creators come forth who saw something new to bring into the comic book world. But since then, many smaller publishers have come forth, such as Whiteout Comics, Dynamite Comics, Valiant Comics, and Avatar Press. And they may be smaller, but they've attracted several big names. I mean, Alan Moore has done some work there, and so has Warren Ellis. But now, you know, those who are looking for a a publisher they can they can easily find a new one find one some of them are new i'll even share a link below in a youtube video description for our ready list of many of them their talent publishing and submission criteria a guy named jason i believe his name's thibault 
uh, he created a, a web page where uh, you can you can get them all. But if if uh, you make like me with uh, send out uh, many submissions that get you nowhere, there's always the option of self-publishing with various financial avenues. Now you can uh, Amazon. That's an option. They they've got a way to self-publish comics. Uh, as uh, you may know, Sledge Number One. I pub I went through Kablam. dot com, and Indie Planet is their distribution wing. But there's also uh, similar uh, Morris Publishing who does that. And uh, now that's uh, print on demand where. I've got it there that anybody, you know, basically anybody who wants one has to order it. And then they print it and send it out. But uh, there are also uh, even more avenues to advertise anybody, uh, your work at little or no cost. You know, I've, I've been doing this with YouTube, you know, uh, Facebook, you know, let you create a page with them, Twitter and Instagram. and. Lately, it's been Instagram that has gotten me the most um, brand recognition, brand awareness, building up, uh, you know, following from pages dealing with similar topics, you know, finding followers through them, and using every hashtag word I can come up with to get attention. That, you know, that, that gets you places. And just today, even, I, I had a very fun Instagram conversation uh, breakout with someone who asked me how I go through the self-publishing of my work and of course I told him what I told you and you know he even committed to support my publication so and admittedly my increased use of Instagram uh, is fairly recent thanks to advice from a from a good friend so shout out to, shout, shout out there you know thanks Mace so but you know more voices more options uh, more promotion avenues more stories to be told. That's the best part of the modern age of comics, where it uh, virtually anybody who wants to publish a comic can publish a comic. You got to take the, go through the uh, creative process. That can be a little expensive, and uh, so you, you got to work that out with uh, the artist. Find the best deal you can. But that's my bit on the modern age. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like. If you like this channel, please click subscribe or follow me on Instagram and share this with a friend. Invitation remains open to purchase Sledge Number One. Just click or copy that link below. And I hope this can get some discussion going. Agree, disagree, something I didn't mention. Please comment below. Let's all seek understanding amid much misunderstanding in our world and then treat each other as equals as human beings. I. I believe this is the human race. We're not made up of several races. This is the human race. But amid that and amid all this health crisis, be safe and God bless.